You know, I'm sure many of us are familiar with that truism or that proverb that pride goes before destruction or a haughty spirit before a fall. That's something that we've seen in culture and maybe even in personal experience over and over again. And in Isaiah chapter 14, that same theme of pride ultimately being someone's destruction, well, it is all throughout this chapter. Now, in Isaiah 14, obviously Isaiah is speaking to the immediate context in which he finds himself in, that a foreign leader is about to fall. But also it's prophetic about our great enemy, the one who's full of pride, Satan, Lucifer. Let me read to you a few verses from this chapter about a fall that yet awaits our great enemy. In verse 12, Isaiah writes this, How you are fallen from heaven, O shining star, son of the morning. You've been thrown down to the earth, you who destroyed the nations of the world. For you said to yourself, I will ascend to heaven and set my throne above God's stars. I will preside on the mountain of the gods, far away in the north. I will climb to the highest heavens and be like the Most High. Instead, you will be brought down to the place of the dead, down to the lowest depths, and everyone there will stare at you and ask, can this be the one who shook the earth and made the kingdoms of the world tremble? You see, throughout scripture, we're actually given insight into a couple of falls of Lucifer. But this last one here described in Isaiah chapter 14 is what he is awaiting in his future, that one day he will be done away with. And like it says here in Isaiah chapter 14, everyone will look and say, is this the one? You see, Lucifer's days are numbered. His pride will ultimately lead to his destruction, as will his rebellion. And I think today we can be reminded of that life lesson that pride often does precede a fall. But secondarily this, the days of our enemy, they're numbered. One day his power, his ability will come to an end. And so today as you're reading this chapter, I want us to be a little bit warned about the pitfalls of pride, but also encouraged about the future of our enemy. One day he will be cast down, and one day we will experience so much joy with the Lord when sin and the enemy's power is finally done and dealt with eternally.